Bonnie made a friend in class. What a oh, she's already making friends. No, no, she literally made a new friend. Hey, it's okay. Come on out. That's it. Come on, there you go. Come on, let's get you out of there. You got this. Good, good. Everyone, I want you to meet Forky. Golly, Bob oh, look at that. Look how long his arms are. The magic's back. Look at this. How long his arms are. Yeah, it is back. Now, I had my doubts about a Toy Story 4 because the third one ended on a pitch-perfect note. I'm happy to report, though, they pulled it off, and it turns out we did need another one of these movies. And you saw Forky there, voiced by Tony Hale, who is always wonderful in Arrested Development and Veep. Uh, yeah, Forky takes the uh, franchise and the themes in a different new direction. It also focuses a lot on young Bonnie. Man alive, grab the tissues. You're going to need them at the beginning, in the middle, at the end. Yeah, Pixar, they just know how to push that button now to make you cry. It's like, okay, cue the water. Words, boys, and it's like boom, Niagara Falls. I was emotional before having a kid. Now, just wait, man. And if you're like me and you're a softie and you have a daughter going into kindergarten and she's a little anxious, this is definitely going to speak to you. But then it also brings that beautiful blend of patented precision animation thrilling chase scenes. It's wildly hilarious, so the script is really tight. And you've got the additions of, um, well, Annie Potts comes back as Bo Peep. She's a prominent figure in the movie. Christina Hendricks lends her voice. Canadian character? Keanu Reeves. He's Duke Kaboom, the stunt driver. And you got Key and Peele providing some nice comic relief as well. Some of the story elements were a little bit familiar. I don't think it was as uh, perfect as Toy Story 3 in terms of plot. And I was missing some of the central characters. That being said, though, it's a road trip movie. It's got some surprises. Uh, thrilling action and poignant themes that are going to resonate not only with the kids, but this is aimed squarely at adults and people that in 95 maybe were younger when they saw Toy Story and now perhaps have kids of their own. Beautiful. Uh, oh. do, we, do we have another clip or are we going straight to Hammers? No, we're going to go straight to Hammers. I'm giving this a resounding four out of five. Okay, that's Woo. a good start. Yeah. Now, the toy theme takes a dark twist. Child's Play is back in the... This was the first scary movie I ever saw. I'm excited about this. Yeah, 1988, the first Child's Play came out about the uh, buddy doll that was possessed by... Uh, well, I won't get too much into that, but it becomes Chucky, basically. And it's time for a reboot, you know, over 30 years later. So uh, this is uh, the latest in the Child's Play saga. Take a look. If they don't let us play, they all go away. Why are you doing this? Are we having fun now? <laughs> are you my best buddy? If they don't let us play, So this is an idea of what you're going to get. There's some jump scares that are well-placed. Aubrey Plaza plays the mom, and Mark Hamill is the voice of Chucky, taking over from Brad Dourif, who did it for years. But this is considered the eighth installment, I guess, in the Chucky series. I mean, it is a reboot, but it's the eighth one, and they're planning a TV series for next year. I got to say, they were smart about the humor in this movie. It's very self-aware. It embraces the campiness and the silliness, and at times it's unintentional laughs, but there are other moments that are written into the script as, as jokes, which I thought worked really well. Plus, it's super gory. There's some good kills in this movie. Oh, so this is not uh, fair for the whole family? No, this is restricted, and there's a lot of blood and gore. I, I could have used a few more Chucky kills, actually, I have to say. It left me kind of wondering. Who are you? I know, and I'm a tough sell when it comes to horror, but this movie was surprisingly well-produced, and um, it plays off that whole idea of, like, Chucky meets Alexa, you know, that symbiotic relationship with technology. So it's like is available for Chucky. <laughs> exactly. Chucky controls the cameras and the TV and the appliances, so they did a good job of updating the story. Uh, one of the problems, though, when it goes from puppet to CG, it looks pretty awkward, but overall, I'm going to recommend this movie. How, how many hammers? Three out of five. five. Hello. Okay. Yeah. If you're a fan of the original, you might dig it. I had to arm wrestle my dad at the age of nine to wow. get him to take me to the theater, so I'll be checking this one Traumatic. out. Traumatic. As per your review. All okay, right. that's it for Hammers. Watch this.